What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ass to Cheese Gaming. I'm back with another Nintendo 64 video game review for you. In this week's review, I'll take a look at GT64 Championship Edition, or known over in Japan as All Japan Grand Touring Car Championship. This game had a release date of April 24th, 1998. It was developed by Imagineer and published by Ocean, and also licensed by Nintendo. GT64 is a simulation style racing game that is very strongly based off the Grand Touring Car Championships series over in Japan. You can think of our version of NASCAR. There's no story per se, but when you start up the game, you get to pick and choose from one of 14 teams that you can join. Then you can go in and choose your car. Now the highlight of this game is the fact that as you choose your car, you can customize different aspects of it to fit your playstyle, such as maybe tweaking your suspension, your tuning, your gearbox, or your tires. Unfortunately, it's all bad from here. Now first off, I want to touch on the controls. They are horrendously stiff. Whenever you need to power slide or drift around a turn, you need to slow way down, tap your e-brake, let up off the gas, and then try to go around the turn, and then speed back up. Yeah, they're not fun to get used to. And next, let's touch on the frame rate and the backgrounds. Unfortunately, this game's background artwork is just almost ugly to look at. It just looks so grainy and pixelated. I've seen better looking Super Nintendo games than this one. And the frame rate is just painful at times. Extreme G, this game is not. One of the strangest things about this game is that while you're on the main menu, it has quite good music. But when you're racing, the music is gone? What? Anyway, let's continue on. One of the most egregious areas of this game has to be its sound effects. The sound of the engine is just painful to listen to. It just makes me want to re immediately reach for the mute button on my TV remote. So, overall, is GT64 with picking up and adding to your collection today? No. In fact, I would surmise to say this might just be one of the worst Nintendo 64 racing games that I've ever played, if not the worst. And unless you're trying to get a complete collection for the Nintendo 64, or your super, super hardcore racing game aficionado, I'd stay as far away from this one as you can. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time. Oh my god, this background art is just so horrible.